Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Xiaomi 11T versus the Poco F3 and the Poco F3 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor with 8GB of RAM while on the Xiaomi 11T we have MediaTek Dimensity 1200 Ultra processor with 8GB of RAM on the back we have triple cameras on both phones we have 48 megapixel main camera on the Poco F3 also we have 8 megapixel ultra wide we also have a 2 megapixel macro while on the Xiaomi 11T we have 108 megapixel main camera also we have 8 megapixel ultra wide we also have a 5 megapixel telephoto lens which is a macro lens also the back it is made up of glass on both phones we have a Corning Gorilla Glass version 5 on the Poco while on the Xiaomi 11T we have Corning Gorilla Glass Victus on the back also the frame on both phones is made up of aluminium and both phones also has a side modern fingerprint scanner on the bottom we does not have any headphone jack on both phones that's really a disappointing thing on the front we also have a Corning Gorilla Glass Victus on the 11T versus a Corning Gorilla Glass version 5 on the Poco F3 so in this video I'm gonna show you how much a difference between a Xiaomi 11T versus the Poco F3 in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test so without any wasting time let's get right into it now let's see the boot up test like always here we go and logo is came up first on the poco f3 as compared to the xiaomi 11t also we have android 11 on both phones we have miui version 12.5 versus miui version 12.5 enhanced on the poco f3 Poco F3 more faster when it comes to booting up as compared to the Xiaomi 11T about one second difference between these devices when it comes to booting up not a huge difference but still F3 faster when it comes to booting up now let's talk about the displays between these two devices and both phones has a 6.67 inch full HD AMOLED display also we have 120 Hz refresh rate the difference is that the display on the Xiaomi 11T is can produce up to 1 billion colors and both phones also has a punch hole on the center which is more smaller on the Poco F3 as compared to the Xiaomi 11T. Also you can see that the bottom chin as well as the forehead it is very similar on both phones. The 11T it is a little bit more wider as compared to the F3. Also on the Poco F3 we have 4500mAh battery size with a 33 watt fast charging while on the Xiaomi 11T we have 5000 mAh battery size with a 67 watt fast charging so that's very big difference so now let's see apps opening speed everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background also we have same wi-fi network on both phones now let's start off with the phone dialer that is exactly the same on both phones no difference there so now let's see settings again exactly the same now let's go to the display and you can see we have 120 hertz refresh rate on both phones and that's really good thing so now let's see amazon shopping like always launching at the same time little more faster on the 11t as compared to the f3 let's see the scrolling very very smooth on both phones i have to say now let's see some games application now let's see candy crush saga exactly the same on both phones as you can see so here is the speakers of the Poco F3 looks like max volume here is the speakers of the 11T and you can see in the speakers it is more better on the 11T as compared to the F3 let's see Instagram exactly the same let's see pin out a little bit more faster on the Xiaomi 11T as compared to the F3 the performance it is a little bit more better on the 11t now let's see spotify very similar now let's see subway suffer and the subway suffer it is should be more faster on the 11t as well yes it is a little bit more faster there so the f3 it is also right behind there now let's see tamper and 2 on both phones the tamper and 2 should be more faster on the 11T but let's see that is exactly the same on both phones so F3 it is little bit more faster without any wasting time now let's quickly open the untodo benchmark on both phones now let's see that which one is faster 
P and the CPU temperature it is much higher on the Poco F3 as compared to the Xiaomi 11T so now let's quickly run this at the same time first now let's go auto brightness on both phones and you can see the display also much better on the 11T now let's run this at the same time let's see that which one is faster 11T or the Poco F3 again we have a Snapdragon 870 versus a Dimensity 1200 Ultra processor Okay guys you can see that in the POCO F3 more faster in the earn to do benchmark. On the POCO F3 we have a 6 lakh and 88 thousand scores while on the 11T it is also done. On the 11T we have a 6 lakh and 6 thousand scores on the 11T also you can see that and the CPU temperature is goes up by 8.2 degrees Celsius while on the 11T it is 6.9 degrees Celsius. As you can see that the performance it is more better on the POCO F3 in the long term like if you are playing games for extended period of time the POCO F3 it is much better as compared to the 11T. So now let's quickly launch the PUBG mobile on both phones. Now let's see that which one is faster in opening up the PUBG mobile game. I also enable the game mode on both phones. and the both phones 11T little bit more faster as compared to the POCO F3 also now let's talk about the graphics of both phones on the POCO F3 we have smooth graphics with x steam frame rate while on the 11T we have smooth graphics with 90 fps and that's really big difference also the 90 fps it is not really stable on this phone so if you want to know more about the PUBG test watch my PUBG test of the 11T and the PUBG test also available for the POCO F3 on my channel as well. Now let's opening up the tutor and the tutor faster on the 11T as compared to the F3. Now let's open the Zedge faster on the 11T as compared to the F3. So now let's see the scrolling very very smooth on both phones 120Hz refresh rate no issue whatsoever on both phones. Last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one faster on the poco f3 as compared to the xiaomi 11t now let's go to the video mode let me show the video recording size with the back camera no ultra setting mode on the poco f3 so that's really big difference when you go to the options and you can see the back camera maximum shoot 4k at 30 fps on both phones now let's see internet bound speed i am seeing default google chrome on both phones so now let's quickly open the wikipedia faster on the POCO F3 a little bit more faster there let's see the scrolling again very, very smooth on both phones the 120 hertz it is amazingly good on both phones I didn't see any lag on both phones so now let's open this random thing on both phones faster very similar let's see the scrolling again very smooth on both phones 120 hertz refresh rate next on the list is the apple.com faster on the POCO F3 let's see the scrolling very smooth on both phones 120Hz refresh rate same thing with zooming in and out no lag whatsoever so guys now let's see RAM management on both phones and both phones has 8GB of RAM now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM management let's see phone dialer no refresh let's see settings no refresh Amazon shopping it is a in-app refresh on both phones Let's see Candy Crush Saga, refresh on the 11T, Instagram, seems like refresh. Let's see Pin Out, same result, refresh on the 11T. Let's see Spotify, refresh. Let's see Subway Suffer, and the Subway Suffer, refresh on both phones. Let's see Tamper and 2, the Tamper and 2 also refresh on both phones. And to do benchmark, it is not refresh on both phones again in app refresh. 
now let's see pubg mobile refresh on the 11t now let's opening up the router in app refresh zatch last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see and guys over i have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that in the xiaomi 11t is perform more faster as compared to the poco f3 in the game app loading time i would say that in system based application both phones is perform very similar i would say that in long term in the poco f3 it is a much better phone with the snapdragon 870 as compared to the 11t in terms of the ram edge wise and both phones is perform very similar in the ram edge man not really good on both phones that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Xiaomi 11T versus the Poco F3 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out